I am Lana Perea and I am at FR Conventions. No, I didn't. I didn't think so at all. But a friend of mine predicted it, um, who is an acting coach, and she was working with me. Her name's Goli. She was working with me during that the first first bit, actually. And she was there, and she said, "You're going to end up being the hero at the end." And this was before we started filming, so she knew. Honestly, I love both, but I think the Evil Queen is so much fun. I kind of dressed a little bit like her because it's the last, you know, PeopleCon uh, event for Once Upon a Time. So I wanted a little nod to the Queen today for the fans. Um, so I would say uh, the Evil Queen, just there were so many layers to her, but also Regina. I mean, I love them both. And when I would get bored playing Regina, which was not often, but sometimes I was like, oh, I miss the costumes. I got to play the queen, so it was a nice balance as an actor to be able to play two different roles all the time. Well, it was, you know, it's funny, when I first met him, they said, um, you know, we have your love interest, you're gonna be in Robin Hood's your love interest. I at first thought it was Tom Ellis because he originally played Robin Hood. So when I saw Sean McGuire, I was so confused. <laughs> I was like, wait, I thought it was Tom Ellis. So I. I didn't know at first that he had gotten the job and then he, you know, Sean is also very charming and so lovely and the funny, one of the funniest people I've ever met. Uh, so working with him became just a really lovely experience. He's probably one of my favorite love interests to date because he, we worked so long together and we were always so respectful of one another and he just made it really safe and comfortable. And um, out of that became, you know, a good friendship. Out of that was a, a beautiful friendship was born. So, you know, we always, we always like, I have my process, he has his process, they're different. But I felt like when we worked together, it was like, depending on the scene, if we had a very emotional scene or a very vulnerable scene, it was very present and very, professional and sometimes when it was a group of people he would get goofier so, <laughs> you know but um, these beautiful one-on-one -on -one scenes with uh, Regina and Robin were very tender and loving and yeah he's he's one of my favorites for sure we love, love each you. other I would just say it's authentic I think it's you know like it's rare that beautiful friendships are born out of working in this working environment because you spend so much time together but sometimes people are like okay we're done and so it's it's surprising after so many years that we're still friends like we'll have dinners and we'll go to each other's homes and you know swim with the kids and pets and things like this and so it's it's lovely I mean I I think that you know it would be a shame otherwise if we didn't have each other I think We've gotten closer by doing so many conventions together and traveling and Rebecca and I were having breakfast this morning and she said, you know, we can do this for the rest of our lives. Like we can travel the world together for the rest of our lives into our older years because we do it so well. We've been doing it for a decade. I said, I know, it's crazy. So it's, there's something, you know, when you can travel with people, it says a lot. And, um, even when we were in Milano, we all rented a villain, a villain, a villa, excuse me. We rented a villa, I've been talking about villains so much. We were rented a villa and all of us stayed in this villa and we just had the best time. So we became like roommates for the weekend and it was lovely. I think it's amazing, honestly. It's, it's surprising and awesome, but once Upon a Time is still airing, you know, on all these different platforms, and so it, the show is still alive. And we keep seeing new people coming in and meeting us, and that's awesome. I mean, we love it, that it's a show that never dies, really. So it's, um, it's a beautiful gift. I feel like there's a lot of light and a lot of love in this community, 
and uh, the people that are showing up, it's our 10 year anniversary. So the people that are showing up, it's like there are diehards, you know, and and we love them for it. I was saying that in my meet and greet. So my God, I've seen like, Victoria, what are you doing? You were a lawyer, what's happening? And you know, I'm looking at Irene and I'm talking to like people I know by name and you know, I've seen them growing up before my eyes and they've seen me grow up. I mean, I've changed a lot in the last 10 years, you know, so has everyone. So it's, it's a beautiful bond, a very special bond.